I would say a combination of both. I think I I knew I was going to become a businessman in my mother's womb. My father groomed me up as such I would come and join him in his business at some point of time. And I also looked at myself the same way. In my junior year, I would carry around my father's briefcase. I saw my father as a prodigy and uh, this is what I was going to become and I think this is what I have become. Anwar Group has introduced 36 new products in Bangladesh. Uh, my father being the first generation industrialist of this part of the subcontinent, uh, it was kind of like his responsibility to bring in as many new pro products and projects as he could. At this moment, we are in a stage where we are in a consolidation process and for the last 15 years, we are actually trying to give ourselves professional structure that would be competitive not only for today's Bangladesh, for the next 50 years, 100 years. The continuity, we are trying to ensure the quanti continuity in our process, in our business structure. My father's time was more like a proprietor kind of driven company. Now we are trying to become more of a structure driven, people driven kind of a company where I'm less involved, my brothers are less Im involved, my people are more involved. Each of my SBU is run by a professional, either headed by a COO or a managing director. On the HR ground, I have a little grievance in the sense that I feel, you know, like uh, quality of uh, the graduates that we are getting, the fresh blood that we are getting are not as prepared as they used to be, let's say, in the 80s or in the 90s. I would think the quality of education has probably suffered in the last two decades. It takes a lot of toll on us to really train these people because if your basic, if your foundation is weak, once you have joined the workforce, it's already late, kind of late to mold him. But we continuously try to train people. There are training sessions, there are on-ground training, but I, I must say that the government on the whole must focus on the quality of education. Our children, meaning my and my brother's children, are still attending either school or in college. My two older boys have just started college uh, in, in America. I have asked them both to work in the U.S. for at least two to three years. Now, if not in the U.S., then in some Western, uh, more structured uh, business scenario and then come back to Bangladesh. For the transition from our generation to our next generation, I think I will, I will seek some professional help in the sense that I do not really want them to feel that they are in their father's company and they can just come and place themselves anywhere and at the same time I also do not want to commit or make a mistake in placing them in the structure. We will do it very professionally, not only for my own children but also for my brother's children to join in business. I kind of like feel guilty being in this industry, the real estate sector itself. Because I see we are just creating concrete. We are putting pressure on a city that cannot take any more pressure. But we are in this business. I have to do this business. If I don't do it, someone else will do it. I, I guess I'm just going with the flow. But we are, we are really putting on a burden on this city. And uh, I, I wish we could talk to the right ears and bring about real changes to this really, really ancient city. If, if you ask about annual landmark, what we are trying to do is we are trying to bring green back into our projects. Every project from now on, annual landmark will have a natural habitats for birds, for uh, butterflies, things that have actually not have just sort of like vanished from our residential areas. I remember growing up in Dhanmondi, you know, like we would have parrots come in, which you do not see anymore. I'm, I'm trying to bring that back. God willing, we will, we will do it. My projects, my latest project is called uh, Rainforest. And I tell you that will really be like a real, real rainforest. We will bring green back to all projects in Anwar Landmark. You cannot, like I was trying to tell you, you cannot put any more pressure on this city. 
we go on like this because there is no really land or there is really not policy in place. That's why we keep on building in, in Dhaka. If, let the government say that okay, there will be no more construction in Dhaka for the next five years. You will see cities coming up. You, see, you will see satellite cities coming up. All that the government has to do is communication. Everything that the government does is Dhaka-centric and everything we have to do is also ultimately becomes dhaka safe. Centric because the government sort of like has made this the marketplace. Everyone wants to come here, and we also have to be near the market marketplace. I would think, you know, like it's high time. It's it's really really high time. I don't know. I think we are waiting awaiting a natural catastrophe in this city. And uh, I tell you, if, if something does go wrong to this city, all of us will be very sorry. We have uh, a very stringent policy and actually we have not been in construction for just the last 10-15 years. We have been in construction for almost 50 years now. At every stage we go through our uh, compliances. We are an ISO certified company. I suppose we are only the second ISO certified company in, in the country in the real estate sector. We have engineers, we have testing methods. We send, we continuously send our cylinder tests, I think they are, as they are called, to BUET for uh, ensuring that we are doing the right kind of work. And most importantly, I supply my own cement. I supply my own steel to my project. I will not take chances with steel and cement when I'm when I'm doing construction. We work with the best architects in the in the country. We work with the best uh, structural uh, engineers in the country. I would much rather be 10% 20% safer rather than being at par. I think uh, Bangladesh on the whole at this moment is uh, even though a lot of things look very bright but we are also kind of like on a shaky kind of plateau at this moment the basic problem that we have is you know like uh, power gas and the infrastructure on the whole i would think that you know like we have to address our present weaknesses that should be everyone's concentration there are a lot of good industries that seem to be you know like uh, shining from the other side of the river unless the infrastructure is fixed first whatever endeavor we take on will will suffer i keep saying you know like we have probably added on quite a few thousand megawatts of power but our our projects are still not getting quality power what is happening is you know like uh, our cost of production is going up we are becoming less competitive worldwide and the inefficiencies are actually building up this inefficiency inefficiency may actually ultimately trickle down into our bodies our blood stream we will never may become an efficient nation again that is that is my biggest worry for our economy at this moment there are plenty of opportunities you know like if you tell me yes improve the port first improve chitogang port you're making new ports okay that's okay but see what you can do with, with the existing, existing port. We are uh, worried about the power situation, the gas situation. I basically do not understand why we do not have gas. I've heard many a times, you know, like being told about the Russian survey that, that was done in Bangladesh, in, I think in 1974, where they had said that Bangladesh had enough reserve for maybe a few hundred years. Why do we not have gas today? Why does Tripura invite people to set up gas-based projects where we are, we are gas dry? I, I would like to believe that, you know, like because we are trying to run helter-skelter, we are running for too many projects, we are really not looking into our weaknesses. Gas, maybe there is gas, gas uh, we still have plenty of gas, but there was no gas exploration. No gas exploration. Why was there no exploration? All this should have been done before. Before you tap into new things, look into your existing bag, look, look into your existing structure, see what improvement is needed here. You are building on a very weak foundation, so what you are building on will, will collapse because you have a weak foundation.